bores you? Bores you? Christ Almighty trying, working for you for a living. The talking, 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 Jesus Christ, won't he ever shut up titanic self-absorption of the man? You stand there trying to look so deep when you're nothing but a solipsistic bully with your grandiose self-importance and your lectures and your arias and your, oh, let's look at the fucking canvas for another few weeks and, oh, let's not fucking paint, let's just look. And the pretension. Jesus Christ, the pretension. You know, I can't imagine any other painter in the history of art ever tried so hard to be significant. You know, not everything has to be so goddamn important all the time. (laughs) Not everyone wants art that rips your guts out and exposes your soul. Not everyone wants art that hurts. Sometimes you just want a fucking still life or landscape or soup can or comic book, which you might actually learn if you left your goddamn hermetically sealed submarine here with no natural light and the windows closed because natural light isn't good enough for you. But then nothing is ever good enough for you, not even the people who buy your pictures. So who is good enough to own your art? Or maybe the better question is, who's good enough to even look at your art? Is it just possible that none of us are worthy enough to look at your paintings? That's it, isn't it? We've all been weighed in the balance and been found wanting. You you say you spend your life in search of real human beings. My friend, I don't think you would recognize a real human being if he were standing right in front of you.